Okay, well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Podcrastinators. Welcome to this bonus episode of the Podcrastinators. Yeah, another bonus episode coming at you. Today we watched The Barbarian. Um, but before we go into that, um, there was a big event. Yes, the um, D23. D23, yeah. So what is this event? I've never, you you told me about it and that they announced a couple of things that you're gonna bring up just to keep our audience in the loop of what's going on and, um, you know, movie news. movies, you know, just movie news. <laughs> but uh, t- tell us about D23 because so I, I don't know what it is. D23 is a, um, it's like a Disney Expo kind of thing. So, you know, Comic-Con, they talk about, well, uh, during Comic-Con, they talk about comic book movies. There's, I don't know, it's just one of those other like convention things. And it's just all Disney stuff, basically. Okay. So, um there's different stuff coming out of it. Like there were a bunch of Pixar announcements the other day, but well, there's just a couple things I want to touch on with the Marvel panel. Cause like we all know, I'm a big Marvel shill. So yeah. <laughs> we're not going to talk about everything that Marvel announced today. Um, there were a couple trailers. So if you do want to go look that up, you can go look that up yourself. There was also, I think some Indiana Jones stuff with Lucasfilm and there was some Star Wars stuff, but Mm -hmm. I just want to touch on some quick Marvel things really quick. Yeah. So remember when we did our Comic-Con recap video? Which is the first episode that we released. Yes. Um, Maybe if you wanted to go back and listen to it, you... (laughs) (laughs) Exactly, exactly. Before listening to this, you should go back and listen to that. And then listen to every other episode until you get to this episode. But anyways... (laughs) Well, actually, that I, side note really quick that just reminded me. So uh, on on like Spotify and stuff on the actual audio platforms for this, the the numbers are going up, uh-huh. but they're going up with like the earlier episodes first. So I think people are watching these like in order of release. So like cool. if you look on like our analytics, like the um, our first episodes have the most views and it like kind of goes. And it's just kind of like growing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so I think people actually are watching them in order. Well, thank you for all those who are listening. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, thank you so much. So anyway, we talked about how the end of phase five is gonna be the Thunderbolts and they announced what the the lineup for Thunderbolts is going to be. What is Thunderbolts? So it's kind of like the Dark Avengers in a way. Um, Oh, We kind of talked with Dark Reign. Gotcha, gotcha. This is like the the thing where like Norman Osborn was in. Yeah, yeah, and he was kind of like leading them. So Venom was part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Superior Spider-Man, right? Wasn't he in it? Um, But anyways, Evil Avengers. Yeah, basically Evil Avengers. And so here's the lineup. <laughs> what do you think of this lineup? We have Taskmaster, US Agent, Winter Soldier, um, Black Widow's sister, Black Widow's dad, Ghost, and Madam Hydra or Contessa. You know, I've. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of there's it's 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 it feels like a C list team mm-hmm. a little bit. I agree. I hope we get like the actual Taskmaster instead yeah. of like just the brainwashed lady who didn't speak. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I, that's right. I, I hope Taskmaster is yeah, actually wait, so cool. Th- so three of these of these people were in the Black Widow movie then. Yep. Mm-hmm. So literally half of the roster is from one movie. And then that US agent and Winter Soldier were in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. Really? And then, if you remember, Ghost was the villain in Ant Man Two. I don't remember Ant Man Two. <laughs> she at was all. like the one that could like phase through stuff. Could be interesting, but people were like hyping up, like, "Oh wow, the Thunderbolts roster looks so good!" And I'm like, "Really? really? It looks kind of <laughs> mid. <laughs> that looks like a C lister team, you know?" Yeah, like, like I, I hope it's good, but. The yeah. roster doesn't look good. Yeah. Maybe they'll like build these characters up a little bit more before we like get to the actual crossover. You know, I don't think they're just gonna like shove them all in right now, you know. Like I'm sure yeah. we'll get Winter Soldier and Black is Widow. That the, here is that a different soon. Winter Soldier? Is that not the same actor? It is the same actor. Okay, yeah, he just looks a little different there. Yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, that was the first thing I wanted to ask you about your opinion about. And then Another thing they announced for the Captain America, A New World Order, 
the leader is going to be the villain and he is returning reprising his role i can't remember what the guy's name is but he was in the edward norton hulk do you remember he's like the at the General very ross or... no 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 is the oh the guy with the big head the guy with the big head remember yeah. like he's the one that uh like is trying to help edward norton hulk to try and like uh cure himself from the hulk thing and then he also turns abomination into abomination then he gets knocked over and, and like some the of the blood like, drips yeah. into his head and his head starts like so yeah they confirmed he is going to be the villain in captain america new world order wow they're pulling from way back well, i know uh, i'm i'm excited <laughs> yeah that's actually pretty cool i thought they would never like connect back to this, like that, that movie really. yeah that's yeah <laughs> Well, because I like when I was a kid and that came out, I was like, wow, like I can't wait to see the leader. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the leader works well as like a Captain America v villain versus a Hulk villain because he's like so smart. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he'll be pulling some strings. And did you watch uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier? I've not watched any Marvel shows. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in Falcon and Winter Soldier, they introduce Isaiah Bradley, who was basically this guy that was experimented on um before they found captain america in the ice they basically were trying to like recreate the super so soldier serum right gotcha. like that uh, again and that's the so okay so so he was introduced in uh falcon and winter soldier as like an old man and they said he's going to come back in new world order and so here's what i'm thinking this is how they're going to phase in Wolverine because in the comics, Wolverine is part of that lineage of trying to like make, get, make the super soldier serum, right? Yeah. Like Captain America is technically weapon one and you get all these different experiments, weapon two, three, four. Wasn't there weapon zero? Um, I can't, there probably was, but yeah, there's, like, there was comics. There's, there's yes, there's but, a yes answer to everything. <laughs> exactly. <isn't there? laughs> but so yeah, like Captain America is definitely, or like technically weapon one uh -huh. with him being the first super soldier. And then the Hulk is in that lineage somewhere like, well, in, in the MCU, at least not in, the M not in the cinematic. actual comics. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but they and then isaiah bradley is also in that lineage and which leads up to weapon x which would be oh, weapon 10. yes yes wolverine yes. <laughs> that, dude, that's my hope oh dude you know i mean you know i know you're a huge wolverine fan uh -huh. i'm also a ginormous wolverine fan i mean if you, you everybody's got to be at this point right like uh, yeah he's I'm, so sick i'm i'm just grasping at straws because i want wolverine so yeah. bad <laughs> I, I can't uh, it, it's it's not gonna be hugh jackman though no I it should think. be weird i mean i'm not gonna say any actor can't bring it but it's just like he's been wolverine since we were like six <laughs> yeah, i agree well so it's gonna no, be before hard. that x-men came out in 2000 yeah so like when we were like two <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> well now everyone knows our birthdays <laughs> yeah we expect happy birthdays in the future <laughs> when we when we have our p.o box <laughs> yeah we need to have a p.o box <laughs> stop <laughs> okay so then the last thing i wanted to talk about was so they announced um i think it's a movie or like a special on disney plus or something but it's called werewolf by night huh so they, there actually is a trailer. I haven't watched the trailer yet because I was waiting for this. Okay. But we could do, we could watch it really quick. And then, yeah, you want you want to pull it up on your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's watch it. That looks pretty interesting. Yeah. Wait. So. All right. So it's it's like it, oh, it's. I don't know how much it, the the trailer was themed like it was made way back. Like when. a super old. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's gonna be in black movie. and white, so I guess uh -huh. they will stick with it. But wait, what is there? Do you know anything about that? Like, I don't know a ton about Werewolf by Night, but I know his name is Jack Russell. <laughs> like huh? after the dog. Really? Yeah, like his character is named after the dog breed. Huh. Interesting. But so um, Moon Knight actually appeared. His first appearance was in a Werewolf by Night comic. And uh, Another notable thing I noticed in the trailer for just a split second, you can see Man Thing. What um, is Man Thing? All I know about Man Thing is that he like 
He guards the Florida Everglades and anyone who is- So he's like Swamp Thing. Kind of, yeah. But like the reason that he guards the Florida Everglades is because there's like, there's a uh, a way to enter into the multiverse, like in the Everglades. And that's kind oh. of what he's guarding. So that that's how this is gonna tie into the whole multiverse thing. You know, I feel like Marvel does a really good job at getting you excited. Cause like when you talk about how the plans, you're like, oh, that's so neat. <laughs> and then you watch the actual stuff. And like always, it's always like, I hope it's gonna be good, but I don't know. I don't think Marvel's done anything that spectacular in a minute. I feel like they have... Spider-Man was good. Every like four things is good, I feel like. Yeah. Or maybe every like six. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's always like, whenever I watch a Marvel thing, I'm like, that was all right, but I'm really excited for what this is like building up to. Yeah. But another cool thing about Man Thing is that, like, if you feel fear, he'll light, like, he can light you on fire just by touching you. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, Damn. Man Thing is is an interesting character. There's I, also I, I will say, wait, is it so? It's a it's a special. Yeah, that's it's not a show. It's a like I thought it was a show at first, but when I pulled it up on IMDb, it just says that it is an hour long. So I think it is. I'll watch that. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I like that. And I feel like it's different than what you're than what we've been seeing. Right? Oh, yeah. And it's also directed by I don't know how to pronounce his name. So uh, Michael Giacchino. Yeah, Michael Giacchino, which all of his previous credits, he's never directed anything before. He's actually a composer. So he did the soundtrack for the Batman. He did Doctor Strange. He did Spider-Man. He did WandaVision. He did some Endgame stuff. He did the Incredible. Some Pixar stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so he's okay. he's a composer, and so you know the sound design is going to be nuts in this movie. Yeah. At the very least. Neat. Yeah. So this this is something to keep an eye out for. I'm just based off that trailer. Maybe this is not in the main Marvel timeline. Like maybe it's in its own timeline, and uh -huh. this is how they'll like start introducing more with the multiverse yeah or the other dimensions or whatever it's interesting i hope it's good it looks cool it does look cool um so that's that well i definitely didn't plan on talking about d23 for 14 minutes they will we'll, but we will cut it out a little bit i think <laughs> oh yeah trailer, the maybe 12 minutes <laughs> yeah. yeah okay so here's a pretty good fucking segue so we watch barbarian which was a 20th Century Studios production, which is owned by Disney. So this movie was put out by Disney. Technically, they will be seeing money from this movie, which is kind of crazy. I mean, fucking anything. <laughs> There's a million strings, and I feel what can you? I feel like Disney owns everything at this point. <laughs> um, but surprisingly good movie. Surprisingly I, we, good. I know, I know we both walked into this movie not knowing. Well, the. the Cameron, so, so they released some marketing material where it's like kind of like the thing with like paranormal activity. It's like people reacting to what's being shown on screen. And Cameron was talking about it to me. He sent me some texts and he's like, we should watch this movie. And that's really all I knew about it. That, that Yeah, that's really all I knew about it too was mm -hmm. I saw those trailers with the like night vision of the people getting freaked out in the theaters. Yep. And then uh, on IMDb, there's the banner that was like the scariest movie in years. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Is it that scary? <laughs> I, I don't, me personally, I don't think I was scared at all during the the whole runtime, but that doesn't mean I didn't really enjoy it. Like I, it, got, it gave me, like it was well done. I was very, there was a lot of, um, it was a very, there was a lot of cuts. It was very suspenseful. And I think, I think like it was paced well, mm -hmm. like it didn't like overburden you with like too much of like the monsters that like, and when it did happen, it was like at the right time, you know? Yeah, um, didn't overdo it with yeah. the creature at all. I, I really liked, I leaned over you at some point in the movie because I really liked, they had a lot of interesting cuts. Um, it, I, I, like it was like, like, like transitions. Like, transitions and camera movements. Like I, there was some, like a couple scenes where I was like, well, like the, at the very beginning when it shows the title screen. Yeah, when she was like walking into the yeah. house and then it was the title screen. And then there was the one where he, the guy was like watching the guy, the original owner of the house, like pulled out his car 
And like, you didn't really know what he was doing until like, the, as he pulled out his car and like in the window frame, you saw the girl that he was just like stalking. I thought that mm -hmm. was a good shot. I also thought at the very beginning too, when the main girl like drives up to the house and it's outside of her car and then it like zooms in to her window basically. Mm -hmm. And there was like some, some cool effects with the camera going through the window. Very good. I think this movie is impressive. I th I, I would I would mm -hmm. go out and say that. And an easy one to recommend to friends. I think this would be a very good party pleaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a, a good one to watch with a big group of people, I think. Mm -hmm. um, All right, I, do you want to know my favorite part of the movie? When oh. you turned over to the people and you yelled at them. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so I was gonna start talking about this. <laughs> yeah, that's I, why I cut you off. So f fucking, this has happened before. It, it's not a new thing in fucking movie theaters. Like, uh, so, all right, so we, we went into like this IMAX type deal, right? Like it was a huge screen. It was like the really nice leather seats that you can like relax back in. And of course this couple sat right next to me, like not an empty chair in between us, like right next to me. And the entire, for like the first like 40 minutes, they're like, he, 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 like talking to each other. <laughs> and like, she's like, like she has like acrylic nails and is like tapping his like, like phone or whatever. Oh, God. And it was pissing me off so much. I didn't notice it, it to was, be honest. It, well, cause they, they I mean, they, they were kind of whisper like they were kind of whispering, but like, I'm right next to them. Like yeah. they're doing like couples like type yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was so fucking annoying. And yeah, at, at one point I like looked over and I was like, can you guys not talk the entire movie? <laughs> and the guy didn't even look at me. He just kind of scoffed. He was like, oh. and then like they did stop, thankfully. But I was just like, fuck you, dude. Like, yeah, fuck I, you, like, dude. I'm like, I don't want to be part of your fucking flirting. You're like not even a fucking foot away from me. Like you're, like, you're like three inches away from me and you're flirting with your girlfriend. I'm just trying to watch a fucking movie. Go <laughs> sit somewhere else, asshole. Like, you've said this before, but if you're in a movie and like, all right, there's nothing's ever black and white, right? Like if it's everybody, it's like, a, if it's a comedy, sure. Like maybe it's a bit more acceptable to be louder in the theater or whatever. But like when it's a horror movie and you got that much space and you're in this big ass, like it's not like we, all right, we did pay for child tickets, so we did not pay the full price for it. But if we did, it would have been more because it was it was the IMAX like theater type deal. And evens it's, out. Yeah, it evens out. But it's, but it's just like, I don't know, man. Like it's it it's just common courtesy. Like, this, is what I, this is what I'm thinking is it's okay to like, make noise or whatever during a movie if you're like reacting, reacting to yeah. what's going on on screen. Mm. Like, or like in, in in small doses, if you have something that you want to lean over and tell your friend, like that's chill, that's fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. But like the, if you're do like, they were literally like nonstop talking for like the first like 40 minutes of the movie. And I'm like, guys, like, you're not like, I can hear everything you're saying. Like, <laughs> Do you think that they, they're in their car on the way back right now? Like, uh, that, that guy asshole. next to us is a fucking asshole. Oh, guaranteed, <laughs> one thousand percent. And I'm like, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to watch the fucking movie that I came here for. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, that is what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for the rant. Yeah. Did you notice that I was taking notes during the movie? I did. <laughs> you did it well. And see that that's the other thing. Like you knew as, as someone who like is very respectful with like movie going and who loves movies, you hid your phone in your jacket. I was right next to you and I only noticed it like once. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell tell me what notes you got. Okay, so I started with uh 20th Century Fox AK Disney. Oh, um so I really liked the one shot where, so she like first, um, okay, so the premise of this movie is that this girl named Tess is uh, at an Airbnb mm -hmm. and uh, she, there's a mix up with the Airbnb and she's, uh, they, they booked it out to two people at the same time, right? So at one point she, gets locked in the basement by herself. And I really liked the shot where like, she notices that she doesn't have her phone and it like 
cuts to her phone sitting on the nightstand and it like zooms into her phone. Yeah. And then like she realizes she has the key and then it zooms up to the lockbox or like it cuts to the lockbox and like zooms in onto the open one. I yeah. really liked that yeah, actually. That's what I'm saying, dude. There's a lot of interesting cuts and transitions. Like the way the way it was edited was very I, I really enjoyed it. Um so oh okay i i should have brought this up when we were talking about people being annoying in the theater but did you hear somebody's fucking phone alarm went yeah, off in I the did theater hear that. all right i thought it was part of the movie at I first thought it was part of and the then movie when too. like justin long's character like didn't do React anything i thought he was gonna pick up his phone and be like oh my my alarm's going off but yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me bro <laughs> it shouldn't have to all right i'm gonna like guys if you go to the movies just shut your phone off and just shut up, like for real. <laughs> do you think? Do you think it has to do with like streaming services and like people are so used to like no, watching movies no, at home? I think people are just assholes. People just don't know. Yeah, I think people are just assholes. I feel like it has a little bit to do with people are just so used to watching other content at home that no, they just are. I, like, I feel like I remember. I have like a lot of memories going to the movies with my dad when I'm younger, and my dad being in the theater being like, "Shut up." <laughs> Okay, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I remember this. All right, this is kind of a funny story. I I can't remember what it was. I don't know what movie it was, but there's, there was like these people, like three pe like three rows down. I was like young and like they're being loud, like really <laughs> loud. And my dad was like, shut up. Like, like, and like every so everybody in the theater did it. And like two other people in the theater were like, yeah, for real. <laughs> like, <laughs> like everybody started ganging up on these people. It was sick. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. This is also off topic with we're not like this doesn't have anything to do with uh, barbarian but i remember when i saw x-men first class mm -hmm. in the theaters there was a guy that was in the very very front row like if he was if he was even watching the movie he would have like been Broke, cranking yeah. his neck up to watch this movie but he was asleep for the entire movie and snoring so <laughs> loud during the whole movie. And someone even came down and like woke him up like, hey, like you're snoring, can you be quiet? Fell right back to He's sleep, like, yeah, started yeah, yeah, snoring yeah. Then, throughout the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. People are weird, dude. People are weird. I mean, like, yeah, pe people are just weird. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, back to the movie. Um, so I think this movie had a lot to do with like judging a book by its cover, you know, like mm -hmm. making assumptions about people um, like right away. Because like, to be honest, like, like we said, we didn't really know that much about this movie going into it. Yeah. So and this so the, the main girl, Tess, and this one guy, I d don't Oh, his, his character's name was Keith, mm -hmm. Tess and Keith. There was a mix up and they were, uh, you know what the name, what Keith makes me think of? What? It's one of the few family guy jokes that makes me laugh. <laughs> it's like they're doing some heist or something. And the like final password to get into the thing is like, what is the worst male name? Keith. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> and that's what it was in the opens up. That's the pretty same. good. <laughs> okay, so anyway, Tess and Keith, there's a mix up. They're at the, the same, like the Airbnb got booked for them both in the same time. And like, I thought that Keith was gonna be like, like the, guy. the villain. Yeah, no, yeah they, he they, was they gonna play, be the they, barbarian. They played it well too, cause like, there was a couple points where you're like, oh, Keith is like, he's not, he's up to something. Yeah, he was like being kind of weird. Like, oh, I noticed you didn't drink your tea. Like that, I understand. Mm -hmm. Like, but then like, it turns out, oh, Keith was just being a nice guy. Like yeah. <laughs> Keith was actually a good guy. And then when um, Tess comes back from her job interview and the homeless guy starts chasing her into the yeah, house, like, he, and it, it seems like, he's coming after her because they build this all up like, oh, the Airbnb is such in a bad neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And, but then it's like, oh, the homeless guy was actually trying to help her not go back into the house yeah. because he knows about the crazy shit that's in the basement. Mm -hmm. And then when it cuts to Justin Long's character, um, AJ, and it starts out and he's like singing in his car and you're like, oh, this guy's oh, cool. Yeah, this guy's like, cool. He's, he's a relaxed guy. And then you're like, oh, he's a rapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then it, 
it kind of gets played up where it's like, oh, was it was it like a false accusation? Like maybe he didn't do it. Yeah. And then he's with his friend and he's like, nah, she said no, but I'm super persistent. And yeah. you're like, all right, Justin Long's a piece of shit. I can't wait for this guy to get killed like, in a gruesome I like, way. Uh, you you cracked me up a little bit during the movie because like at one point where he's like freaking out, he finds like the basement underground like tunnel system or whatever where like the creature of the lady the crazy lady is like the, the, the spooky the barbarian the barbarian um <laughs> and like right before he's he's like walking down he has his flashlight and his knife and he's like get ready to get fucked bitch yeah. and you lean over and you're like that's not the first time you said that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i forgot about that 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 made me laugh and then um when tess uh escapes at first and then the cops also just think like she's a crackhead like mm-hmm. That's also, what I'm about this movie. I, I think uh, you, that's a good point that I didn't think of because, like, also, also spoilers. You should watch this movie. Um, like we said, good party one. If you want to watch with your friends, it's a very easy one to go go see in theaters or when it comes out, just watch with your friends. But anyways, at the end, speaking of when you're saying don't judge a book by its cover, um, you kind of feel bad for the monster thing. I did at least. Oh, that's a good point. I was, I was like, it's she's the really she's thing really not like malicious. Yes, yeah, she's like she's really not malicious. She's just kind of like. She, I mean, she's been living. She's inbred. That's yeah, all she's she, known. She's inbred. She's kind of messed up. But like, she, she, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like you can't blame an animal for doing what an animal does. Nature versus nurture. Yeah, nature <laughs> versus nurture. And then the another thing with uh, the the guy in the past. It starts out, and he's just at the store. Like, you just think he's buying stuff for his wife, and then yeah. I was like oh did his kid like somehow get trapped underneath and like that's how it is and like nope he's just a big piece of shit why do you think he killed himself when you when we found them like where or when what, what's the actor's name i don't know oh justin long justin long when when justin long founds all right so like the, the main women girl the creature is like yeah as we said like a uh, result of a bunch of inbreeding by this one guy who owned the house who like i guess kidnapped and killed a bunch of people and, he, and Justin Long finds this guy like in one room and he kills himself. And I don't, I didn't really understand why. Well, I was thinking m- maybe it was because Justin Long was talking to him like, oh, we're gonna like, there's gonna be a bunch of cops here. We're gonna do this. And maybe oh, he okay. like figured out like, oh, like this is it. Like I'd rather kill myself than have to talk to the police. I guess that makes maybe. sense. Yeah. I don't know. That make, that, I mean, that, that, makes, that makes sense to me. That checks out. Um. I liked when Justin Long's eyes got gouged out. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, he got a he he got the what is what's the guy from Game of Thrones? The snake or the viper? I don't know. I've only seen the first couple episodes of Game of Thrones and then the last couple episodes. What? Bro, you didn't even watch the good parts. <laughs> no, I didn't even watch the good parts. When the, the, the mountain does that to a character. Oh, really? Game of Thrones, yeah, but it's a lot more crazy. <laughs> okay. Dude, I can't. All right. So I, this is a different thing. You should watch the. If I'm going to watch the first thing, or uh, just watch the first four seasons of Game of Thrones. It really okay. is fantastic. I've tried, and it's just like I can't get into it because it's so slow. It's I know the that's first, like the good, well, the good, like the slow burn is what people like also, about it. It's also the first season is very slow. The first season is the hardest to rewatch, hands down. But also, it's so hard for me to watch Game of Thrones now, knowing how shitty the ending is. It's like, yeah. why would I dedicate all this time to it for like such a lackluster ending? God, that's so sad. Yeah, that, that sucks. That, that's why that's, I'll that's never. Such a, that's such a valid like point. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, did you notice that the the in Barbarian, back to Barbarian, the mm-hmm. guy in the past, like the the evil kidnapper inbreeding guy, was uh, the same actor that was Joe Chill in Batman Begins. He ki- that guy also killed Bruce Wayne's parents. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> I did not know that. Damn, that's a, you got a fucking mind for that, man. <laughs> also, Cameron immediately noticed that the text was the same thing as Stranger Things, which amazed me. You're like, he's like, look at the A, and I looked at the A and looked up, and I was like, holy oh, shit! Oh, the font in the or credits. The font. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, here's here's a uh, uh, in in inaccuracy then that we found is at the very beginning when. Tess note or is trying to call her like Airbnb people that this is the wrong thing. She's uh, typing in the phone number and the area code is 303, which Wait. is a Colorado area code. 
but it takes place in Detroit. So what the fuck was that? Is it possible that you could have the same area code in different states? Well, I was like, okay, maybe if the person that owns the Airbnb but, lives in Colorado. But then they went to the actual property and yeah. But yeah, when Justin Long gets goes to the like property management agency, they they I think if the company was in Detroit, they would definitely have a I Michigan think, yeah. co- uh, area code. All right, let's see what Michigan area code is. Just to... Michigan area codes. Oh, not 303. 303. Yeah, you're right. That's funny. <laughs> Zero out of 10. Fuck this movie. Yeah, they, yeah they, they didn't get the correct phone area number. <laughs> Don't fucking watch this pile of garbage. <laughs> um, I got nothing else to say. I got nothing else, too. I, it was very suspenseful. There was a lot of times where I was on the edge of my seat like, oh, fuck, what's going to happen? Yeah. I really liked, like you said, the pacing behind it where like, you, I really thought that with Tess was gonna be dead once. Yeah. Fucking the it clown guy's head gets smashed into the wall. Oh, that was the it clown guy. <laughs> yeah. I knew he was a god, dude. Well, well I guess that, that that was a Pennywise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pennywise, Pennywise. You're right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I will say that was a good movie. I really enjoyed it. It was surprisingly, I, none of, but I know both of us weren't expecting to go in there and enjoy it so much, and. Even though being next to those two people was fucking annoying. <laughs> it made my experience so much better because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's nice being able to come back and talk about it for the podcast because it just like, it, it sucks. But like, we can laugh about it now. But like, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, well. Oh, wait, wait. The last thing I wanted to say. So, you know how... Uh, when the uh, Tessa or Tess and AJ and the homeless guy are like in wherever the homeless guy lives. Oh, and, and he's like, like this, she's never come here. Not once, ever, ever, ever. She'd never do it, not once. Cause you want to know why? Because I've been here for 30 years and trust me, she won't come. And then poof, immediately. <laughs> and then he, and then she does the Quan Chi fatality where she, yeah, where she rips ripped. off one of his limbs and beats him to death with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just wanted to talk about yeah. Quan Chi's fatality. <laughs> um, is Quan Chi the sorcerer? Mm-hmm. In, yeah. in MK9. The, the white one? Yeah, 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 yeah. In MK9, he has this fatality where he rips your leg off and beats you to death with it. Yeah. And then even though it'll be like rematch character select screen or whatever, mm-hmm. he like continues to just be on the character until like, no matter what, he'll just nice. do it forever until you um, do something with the menu to get That's out of cool. it. Like, I, but- like, I like the ones that are just graphically long, like in MK12, my favorite brutality with Baraka is the one where he just goes, like he's on his, you know, the classic mm-hmm. where he's on his knees, just like stabbing like up with his like arm blades. And if you get that into a brutality, he does that for like 10 seconds and it's just ching, 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 ching. And you know, the other players just sitting there like, God damn it. <laughs> I, I get it. Like, come on. Yes, I know I lost. <laughs> I love those games, man. But yeah, um, good ass movie. I think Wicker Man should be coming out this Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Our, our episode on the Wicker Man, which will be episode two of our Nicolas Cage season. The ongoing season right now, yeah. Like, like, like Cam said at the beginning. And if you've been listening to us, you know that we, in addition to the season that we're working on, the themed season, we're always going to see current movies that are out just to kind of, um, you know, keep up with modern movies. And yeah, we, we, we really hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus episode. We, we, of course, had a lot of fun doing it and we really thank you guys for listening as always. Yes, thank you very much. Cool. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye.